Hey guys, so I'm welcome back to the Toby Tobia channel where everything is good here. I have another engagement this morning as a brand promoter. Yeah, yeah, working, working, working. So I'm at the Hope Gardens and I'm, I think I'm heading to the Hope Gardens Zoo. Why do I think I am heading there? There's a little bit of light traffic, that's all I can notice. Oh yeah, it's really pretty here. Bad, bad. I'm gonna cut the video here. So for some of my viewers um, who are not familiar with the Hope Garden slash Hope Zoo area, this area is in the Papine area of Kingston. It's a really beautiful walk all the way up to the zoo. I decided against taking a taxi because it's been a while since I've been through Hope Gardens. So I took a I took the long walk up. And by the time I got there, which is a section of the Hope Zoo that is designated for events, you could see where it's closed off. There was the entrance and everything. It was closed off well. And then you saw the brands, their tents were there and so forth. There was the dance. There was a dance section or a stage section. And there, there, there was a food section because it is a brunch it's a breakfast brunch party. Here you can see the signage for RFB where you can take your nice little photos. They had a nice little swing. The vibe was nice. I like the colors. The bright colors were very nice. I did meet up with a couple other media related friends I had because there were other media people there. I was working with a brand this day, like a food brand. So I wasn't really on the dance floor. <laughs> um, but i did get a little piece of the party because wherever i am at i will enjoy myself there was brood awakening there was um i think there was just tents for red bull no red bull was there um grace was there i think gc catering was there they had really nice food i tried their mutton it was really good it was really good and grace had soup they had malta all them nice things there and brutal eating had the breakfast they had breakfast like good good breakfast as always so you can see their little boot station they had pastries it was so nice and one thing people ask me when i come to these events is what it's like and what to wear so this video gives a good description of what to expect when you go to these jamaican themed brunch or breakfast parties you can by watching this video you can see some of the outfits some of the must-have sections in the party and a couple of the must-have brands i would say for any successful brunch party because the patrons did enjoy the food i can say because trust me as soon as the party was kicking up they came back around for food and all them nice stuff there here i am at the coconut station they had to serve the coconuts with liquor so you can see me getting mine chopped over there i got a really big one So I'm back at the food section. Tortuga had a stand. It was so nice. Like anytime Tortuga at these events, you know, you have to stock up on my little sweet cakes and stuff. Salt Dancer was there too. They had a new product. Um, it's called Salt Dancer Tostones, and they had just the regular ripe plant chips, and they had these nice little cute bags offering to patrons. Grace, big boss. You know, they came with soup. I think they had a they had a jerk pasta and everything you'll see it in a in a bit 
so this is the jerk chicken pasta i think they had chips hummus and another version of the pasta and i think they had jerk corn and beans so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed bacchanal season has begun hope you guys stay safe drink responsibly